Okay. All right, so we're gonna go over the pathway of urine production. So urine production is taking a bit of the fluid part of the blood, um, sending it through the kidneys to be filtered out, get rid of all the waste, and then also pulling back, reabsorbing anything um, that we do wanna keep as like water or ions, stuff like that. So first we need to get the blood flow in to the kidney, into the little glomerulus. So we have this pathway here where we have renal artery, segmented arteries, um, interlobar arteries, arcuate, and then interlobular are the closest ones going up to the glomerulus. And then once we're in the glomerulus, we're gonna zoom in. So here's a zoomed in view. We get that blood flow into a glomerulus. And then um, here's a glomerulus, we're gonna zoom in again. So that blood comes into the glomerulus through an afferent vessel and it squeezes out part of the fluid part of the blood and it's caught in this capsule and this capsule is called the Bowman's capsule. And then the other part of the remaining blood, the cells and the rest of the fluid leaves via the efferent um, vessel. So now that we have fluid in this capsule, it's gonna leave the capsule via the proximal convoluted tubule. So that on this model, it's green. So right now we have a fluid portion of the blood and it's a lot of waste, but there are good things that we still wanna pull back in. So we have proximal convoluted tubule, goes down the thick descending, then we have the thin descending, comes back up the thin ascending to the thick ascending. And this loop is surrounded by blood flow right here. Um, and this is a continuous blood pathway. And this is where we pull back any material that we wanna keep. We pull back water, we pull back ions. So by the time we've reached the end of the loop here, everything that's left is just waste, stuff that we're gonna get rid of. So the waste goes through the collecting tubule into a collecting duct. So we have these collecting ducts that have multiple nephrons connecting to them through all different collecting tubules. And then those ducts run down the kidney to um, renal calyxes. Calyxes go to major calyxes, into the pelvis, into the ureter, and then ureters go down to the bladder and out. Um, so once again, those structures starting, blood flow goes into the glomerulus. We squeeze out the fluid. Fluid exits via the proximal convoluted tubule, which we here. Proximal convoluted tubule, we go down the loop and back up, and we're um, pulling back stuff that we wanna keep. Once we come back up, we're in the distal convoluted tubule. Convoluted tubules go to collecting tubules here and here, merge into a collecting duct. Duct goes back out um, and then eventually into the ureters. And then here we see that um, pathway of blood where we're pulling stuff back. So the vessels that are around the tubules is called um, peritubular capillaries. Vessels that are around the nephron loop is called the basal recta. And it's one continuous um, blood pathway where we're pulling blood back, um, pulling back those ions. But depending on where they are, they have different names. And that essentially is the pathway of urine production.